Let's have a look at the new Vault ID web wallet design, which is now available open source via the Vault ID identity repo. But first, let's log in to see what we got. On first startup, we don't have any credentials, but we get our DIT. So each profile is assigned a default DIT at startup. I, in this case, get a DIT JWK. But this can also be configured to be a DIT key, DIT web, or many others. Next to the Credentials tab, we also have an Issuers tab, where issuers can be configured so users can directly request credentials from their wallet. At the bottom left, you can switch to the dev version, which is our old wallet design. Let's now get ourselves a credential. And here we go to the Vault ID web portal. We will first request ourselves a bank ID. So we start the issuance process. Issue it as a regular W3C credential as a chart and open it directly in our wallet using the same device flow. And here we see the credential which is offered, the bank ID. Let's now accept that. Now we have the bank ID in our wallet. Next to the desktop version, which we just had a look at, we also offer a mobile version, which you can see on the right. It's the same app just installed as a progressive web app on my iPhone. I didn't refresh yet, so I will just quickly refresh. And now you can see I have the bank ID also here in my wallet, which is at the end the same account, just on two different devices. Let's now have a look at how we will receive a credential uh, from our mobile version. Back at the portal, we will this time select an EID. But instead of issuing as a regular W4C chart credential, we will issue it as an SD chart credential. So I will select that. Click issue and now instead of open web wallet, I will click at the bottom right here um, the scan QR code button, allow access to my camera, scan the QR code and here I see, okay, I will receive an EID from the issuer, so I accept it. Now I have two credentials in my wallet and also we can now view them in the wallet. So here. I see the information of the credential. I can also delete the credential. Also, I see here for the EID that this was issued as an SD chart credential because I have certain selectively disclosable attributes available. If, you want, if I want, I can also show it as JSON. Now let's do a presentation. Back at the portal, we will now select the bank ID as well as the EID and start a verification process. I will use the same device flow. And here we now see that two credentials are requested from the verifier to be presented. One, the bank ID, and two, the EID. And the interesting thing about the EID is that we can now choose which selectively disclosable attributes we want to actually disclose to the verifier. At the moment, we are disclosing zero of eight possible attributes. So let's have a look. Let's say this time I want to share first name, last name, and the date of birth. With bank ID, I can't have the selection because it's just a regular chart credential. I will now disclose all of them. The verification was successful. I presented the bank ID as well as the EID. You can visit the web wallet and try it out yourself at wallet.vault.id or click the link in the description to either visit our wallet or get started developing with it. Happy building and see you next time.